Tommy, and we're from KidsWhoDance.com. We're here with Hale Storm. Can you introduce yourself? Absolutely. My name is Lizzie Hale, and um, I'm the lead singer. I also occasionally play guitar and piano. And very happy to be here. Mm -hmm. What is on the top of your Christmas list, and do you think you'll get it? Oh wow, top of my Christmas list. That's a hard question because um, I've gotten. Uh, uh, this year has been so wonderful for me and, and I've been able to do so many things and travel to so many places that I actually haven't thought about what I want for Christmas <laughs> yet. Um, uh, I suppose there's always a guitar somewhere <laughs> that I probably need. Um, let's see, or a really cool pair of shoes, which is very possible maybe I'll get this year because all the guys in my band know that I like shoes, so I'm just putting the hint out there. <laughs> what food can you eat your body weight in? Oh wow, <laughs> um, what food can I, um, let's see, I have a, I have a really weird snack that I like to make that the guys all think is really gross and uh, I mash avocados and bananas together and make like a, like a pudding type of thing and uh, it's actually really good. It looks awful, it looks like baby puke, but, <laughs> but it actually tastes really good so I could probably eat that every day. Does your family have any holiday traditions? Um, we 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 always had some type of tradition, depending on how old we were. When we were little, um, when it came Christmas time, my mom uh, used to make a lot of clothing for us. So she would make us like special Christmas pajamas to wear on Christmas Eve, and then um, we had these little mailboxes under the tree. They were about this big, and when Christmas morning came, we'd open up the mailbox, and there would be designated. Um, uh, Christmas wrapping paper for my brother and I. So, you know, like RG would get the green ones and then I would get the red ones. And uh, the other thing that I always thought was cool is that my parents wouldn't put candy canes on the tree until after Santa Claus came because Santa Claus was the one that put the, <laughs> that would put the uh, um, the candy canes up on the tree. And so it was very magical when I was a kid. And when, when we got older, um, we ended up uh, over the course of maybe eight years, uh, having a tradition of going to New York City and seeing the big tree and like going around and shopping in the city and everything. And, and uh, now everybody kind of lives everywhere. So now it's like for this year, I'm my both my parents live in Florida, so I'm going to sunny Florida to uh, to celebrate Christmas with them. It's going to be way too hot, I think. <laughs> if you woke if you woke up and were trapped in a movie, would you rather be trapped in Lord of the Rings or in Hunger Games? Ooh, I'm gonna have to say Hunger Games because I think Jennifer Lawrence is awesome, <laughs> and um, and I still haven't seen the new one. Have you seen the new one? Yeah. Oh, don't tell me. I'm so excited. So yeah, and plus I, you know, just to get a chance to maybe use a bow and arrow in my life would be very cool. <laughs> if somebody made a movie about your life, what would it be called and who would play it? <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, uh, well, speaking of Jennifer Lawrence, I'm probably gonna have to go with her, even though I don't know if she would want to play me. But uh, but I would definitely, obviously, I would let her audition. You know, um, what would it be called? Let's see. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna pick a, I'm gonna pick a word that I end up calling my little brother. Oh, well, I'm gonna call it cantankerous. I end, <laughs> I end up I end up calling my little brother that every now and then. And I just like the sound of the word. <laughs> If you had a magic potion that would keep one singer alive forever, what, what, who would you give it to? Oh, wow. Um, let's see. Hmm. Um, I, I like a lot of uh, like 80s cheese metal and uh, or something like that. Your, your parents will probably know, but there's a, there's a band that I uh, grew up listening to called Cinderella. And um, I just got to meet the lead singer uh, Mr. Tom Kiefer, and I think I would definitely give that elixir to him because he's one of the nicest dudes you'll ever meet. We need more guys like that, <laughs> you know, because most guys that I meet are a little icky. <laughs> Can you name all the Spice Girls? All the oh yeah, um, let's see, their actual names or or their stage names? Um, stage yeah. Stage names. Okay, yeah, because I'm probably gonna suck at the actual names. Um, let's see, yes. <laughs> I gotta reach back to my childhood here. Um, so the, I know there's Scary Spice, there's Posh Spice, Baby Spice, Sporty Spice. There was another one. Um, was there another one? Yeah. Oh, darn it. I hope I got them all. 
Um, oh, why can't I think of any? <laughs> okay, I give up on the last name, but it is. Ginger Oh, the weird one, yes. <laughs> the one with the hair. Okay. Thank, Thank you. You're very welcome. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. These are the best questions ever, by the way. Thank you very much. It's great to meet Thank you guys. You. Thank you.